WhatsApp have added a new option to view once in terms of photos and videos. I'm going to share with you the video that has been created by WhatsApp as to how this new function works. And then I'm going to explain to you some of the risks that we see from an online safety perspective when working with children and young people today. So you can see there that users have the option to share a photograph once and the recipient can open it. And then of course, once that's been viewed and closed, it can no longer be viewed. Sounds very similar to Snapchat, doesn't it? In terms of how Snapchat works. Now, what we've got to bear in mind is the risk that that presents. Now, WhatsApp has, has not created this feature to of course cause harm to its users. But when you think about the risks that that presents, it means that users are more likely to share photographs or videos that they wouldn't necessarily share in the perspective that of course those images disappear. Now there are of course options to screenshot and to capture that information to save to the person's device. And unlike Snapchat, it won't notify the user that there's been a screenshot of that image. So it's worthwhile mentioning that so that we are aware of the added risk, whereas Snapchat, of course, notifies the user when an image has been screenshot. Now, there are ways and means of screenshotting on Snapchat without notifying the user, but those options don't exist within WhatsApp. So it's worthwhile being aware of this change. In addition to this update, in terms of WhatsApp, we've also seen that users can now join a, a group chat, even whilst it's in progress. So this is another update that we've seen. But with all of these things, I would ask you to consider how we educate children and young people today, how we can develop their resilience to stay safe online. So it's really talking about the types of things we do online. The minute we press send, we are no longer in control. We can't control what other people do with our content, but we can control what we share and think about whether or not it's worth it, necessary, or there could be a risk involved in terms of the information that we choose to give out to other people. By doing so, we equip children and young people with the skills, as I say, to be digitally literate, to be resilient online, but also knowing who they can come and talk to should they ever face any risks online. And that can be reporting online, but it can also be talking to those adults they trust in the real world. For more information and online safety updates, then please visit our website, Kids Online World.